So as you probably know, Gen Z seems to get a lot of hate on the internet for some reason more than any other generation, and a lot of it definitely is kind of unwarranted, but there's this account on Twitter called Gen Z Moments that kind of made me understand it a little bit more. So with that being said, today we're going to take a look at, I guess, some of the dumbest and most stupid moments from Gen Z. But before we do that, make sure to drop a like if you want more of these types of videos, and also subscribe if you're new because we are extremely close to 11,000. So with that being being said, the first Gen Z moment here says, I wore this to school instead of an actual mask and got asked to go home. Is that a dream mask? Oh, I, I didn't even notice all the Minecraft stuff in the background. That is definitely a dream themed uh, paper that was turned into a mask. I, I mean, besides the fact that you literally can't see through that, maybe that could actually work as a mask because the whole point is so you're not like coughing on people and stuff. And the dream mask technically prevents that. But also, this is probably why I'm not a doctor. The next one we have here is a TikTok that says anyone else want to start streaming but their friends are too racist and then someone replies saying it's not that my friends are racist they, they spelled racist wrong by the way it's that I'm racist is that really something we want to be out here flexing and also why did that comment get likes that dude was literally just openly racist in a TikTok comment section and it got almost 2,000 likes someone here commented on a TikTok and said my dad died today and someone replied saying ratio and actually got more likes. He legitimately ratioed his father passing away. That just shows how evil people are on the internet. You can legitimately post that your parent passed away and someone will and someone will reply ratio for no reason. The next one here is an Among Us themed poster at someone's school that says it's okay to be sus. I don't know why everyone's school has those like extremely cringy posters in the hallway that are like trying to be funny or like trying to relate to kids. You can tell some like 40 year old teacher wrote it trying to connect to 15 year olds. It's like that one meme of the old guy trying to fit in at school. POV. It's the 1950s and you see your African American friend being beaten, but you have to act like you don't care. Hashtag for you page. Not everything needs to be turned into a TikTok trend. I promise you, we definitely could have left this one out. And just the fact that she put hashtag for you page at the end of the caption shows that she was literally doing this for clout. She was trying to get uh, followers and likes off slavery. And it actually worked. This got 150,000 likes. People were really supporting this type of content. So here here we just have this woman who posted these two pictures with the caption, I feel pretty, and someone replied, trigger warning, people of color, please delete as it's disturbing to many viewers across this app who feel uncomfortable looking at people with darker skin or weird eyes. Isn't that literally just racism? Society has looped back around to where it's okay to be racist as long as you say you're triggered by their skin color. Being like offended or not okay just because of someone's skin color, isn't that literally like the definition of racism. That's crazy. That had to be like a troll tweet or something. There's no way someone dead serious thought that was like an okay thing to say. How are you going to put trigger warning at the beginning of your tweet and then just be openly racist? Twitter never fails to surprise me. Please do not buy the BTS meal if you don't stand them. You're preventing actual BTS fans who have waited for months from having the BTS meal experience. Eating the sauces without understanding their significance is literally cultural appropriation and it's not okay. I don't understand why considering yourself a stan is such like a normal thing that people do now. Isn't the term stan literally from the Eminem stan music video where the dude like drives off a bridge with his pregnant uh, wife and commits respawn all because Eminem didn't write a letter back to him in time? When you call yourself a stan, that's literally what you're calling yourself. A uh, crazy, psychotic. The word stan literally stands for stalker fan. You are calling yourself a stalker of whoever you're a fan of. Plus, if you're such a big BTS fan, why would you tell people not to buy their products? You are directly causing the group you're a stan of to lose money. But with that being said, let me know what you guys thought about these, uh, I guess, crazy, stupid Gen Z moments down in the comments. Which one was your favorite? Definitely let me know. And with that being said, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter and TikTok at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.